Yeah, go ahead. I asked the question of some Europeans. What was the difference in their judgment between the attitudes of Europeans toward renewable energy and the sacrifice in order to make this transition? Because it's going to be costly at one or another level. Not a great deal, but it's going to have some cost incurred to it. And Americans' attitudes. And the answer I thought was really informative. Their position was, in Europe, you have a history of the commons, where the village shared the pasture. And everybody in the village had to make sure that the pasture wasn't overeaten, was well maintained, the animals were safe and secure there. So they had a culture that said, we have a larger shared value that we are committed to. And this is ingrained in them from the day they are born. The US, as a counterpoint, has a history of rugged individualism. Go west, young man, to make your fortune. The individual is always right. And so you have a sense of, of empowering the individual at the deficit, if you will, of the larger culture. And at one level, when you look at support for climate change, if you look at support for transitions to sustainable energy economies, you can couch that view of why it's become much more readily accepted in most of the rest of the world. Perhaps you can couch that view in terms of rugged individualism versus of the community of all of the citizens caring for one another. And I find that really instructive to try to understand why individuals sometimes make decisions that are not in the best interest, obviously, of them and their neighbors, but maybe in their best personal interest.